Alright, if you can see this, which I need more light, it's not uh, very bright. But if you can see this, it means that I have managed to learn something about my editing software. I had to cut the beginning of my uh, video. I didn't like the very beginning. So now I'm recording this to put in its place. Like I say, if you can see it, that's great. It means I've learned something. If you aren't seeing this, well, then the video just starts in a kind of a funny spot. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Philanopsis with its really long roots and talk about the improvement in health over the last few days of my aerial roots on my Philanopsis. Philanopsis is. <laughs> um, so anyway, here we go to the Philanopsis roots. And I'll talk about them. Well, I've already talked about them if this worked. But you'll see them. Okay. Let's find out if it worked. One. But it's roots. It's aerial roots. And even the roots in the pot. There's the roots in the pot, sort of. Um, have been looking. There we go. There's that. For a moment, they've had this off green color to them, and they seem plumper. They seem healthier. So I've taken notice. There, you, you can kind of see it. The color kind of comes and goes, at least on my screen. Um, but they seem plumper, they seem to have some color, they seem healthier than they have been all summer. So I thought, well, what has changed? And over the last few days, I have noticed that according to this um humidity gauge that doesn't want to focus nothing ever wants to focus <laughs> um, it has been up to 80% humidity as you can see it's a little more than 80% according to this humidity gauge which disagrees with the humidity gauge I've got on my tortoise by about 10 percent but this one it's reading a little over 80 percent humidity and all summer it has been hanging around the 70 percent mark but when it went from 70 to 80 that's when these roots started looking happier to me and I don't think you can really see it all that well on camera. There's a spot here. You can see that little funny spot in the root. It had quit growing. Its growing tip had kind of disappeared and it quit growing. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. But then, all of a sudden, a new growing tip came out. And it took off again. And it took off, and it went, and it went, and then it started to curve. These two roots have been going pretty close to straight down, but then they decided to curve and go off toward the side for some reason. It went all the way down to here. Now this longest root, just to, I guess, toot my own horn, 
is 25 inches, I just measured it, 25 inches from there straight up, and of course like I just said, it's not straight, it curved, so it's even longer than 25 inches, and it certainly is longer than 25 inches, because I only measured from the top of the, the wooden stand down to the tip of that root. 25 inches. <laughs> Never mind going from the top of the stand up into... Let's get... I forgot which roots were... Okay, the longest root... Yeah, the longest root is the one that is broken part way down. So it comes up, up, it goes behind, does it go behind? Yeah, it goes behind, and then up, it follows it on up, and then it goes into the pot. So, from the top of the stand to the bottom of the root is 25 inches. Nowhere near six feet. <laughs> but 25 inches for a Philanopsis root, I think, is pretty outstanding. And 80%, like if I remember correctly, it disagrees with the one on the tortoise by about 10%. So maybe it's 70, maybe it's 90 in reality. I'm have no real way of knowing. But these roots outside of the pot, the aerial roots can, that have attached themselves to the stand, they don't get water. But at 80% they seem happiest. At least according to that gauge. Here's the leaf, three leaves, three leaves on this part over here, that's uh, two keikis that I got after the mother plant died, and I decided, you know what, I'm not doing commercial fertilizers anymore, I'm just going to see if I can figure out how they will grow for me. Because up to this point, like I said, that used to be one Philanopsis in that uh, pot, but it died, and I got lucky enough to get two Kikis. This one on this side is bloomed three times, I think. This one over here hasn't bloomed yet. Kind of interesting. This one apparently is getting all the energy. But neither one seems to really be suffering. So that's what I noticed is at 80% humidity, according to that, the roots seem happiest. I just wish I knew how accurate that humidity gauge was. Never get watered. No, well, there's that one with its long, long roots. I don't know if you can really see. The color seems to keep changing because it's on auto supposed to give the best color according to the light. It's on like an auto function because I don't know what I'm doing yet. And then the roots over here on this one. Quite a bit shorter. But they seem extremely healthy too. So I don't know. There's the 
newest spike taking off toward the curtains like it's supposed to. The old spent ones. And back behind, you know, it's really dark because the stand in front of it. But there's the extension coming off toward the side. That plant. Can't see its its pot with the uh, few roots it's got coming out. It's just too dark. Too dark behind this wooden stand here. I just thought that was interesting that at 80% humidity, these roots have perked up and seem healthier to me. And they're 25 in well that one is over 25 inches from the point to the base. And then of course it keeps going. However high that pot is and into the pot. Just an observation. Like I say, that humidity gauge is probably off by something. Wish I knew what the real humidity was, but according to it, 80% is when the roots get happy. Okay, talk to you next time.